Thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story Time! Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment to my page. Here we go. Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time on today. Today I will be reading to you all a Peter Rabbit, a present for mom. Alright, let's get into this. Honestly, uh, the mom is... Okay. Let's see. One breezy set spring morning, Mrs. Rabbit had a wonderful surprise. Happy Mother's Day! shouted Flopsy and Mopsy, eagerly handing her their presents. Mama Day! giggled Cottontail, giving her a card. Mother's Day! said Peter under his breath. Oh no, I forgot! Uh oh, Peter. What am I going to do? Peter asked Benjamin and Lily. Maybe there's an idea in your dad's journal, suggested Benjamin. Great plan. And Peter grabbed me this precious notebook. Look, a recipe for mom's favorite wild strawberry pie. That's the perfect Mother's Day present. Comes from the heart. The bunnies bounce ease busy around the kitchen collecting the ingredients. There's just one thing missing, said Lily, finally. Strawberries. A good rabbit never gives up, said Peter. Look, there's a map here, too. It shows where to find the biggest and juiciest strawberries ever. Let's hop to it. The map in the journal led them to an enormous patch of scrumptious strawberries. Yippee! shouted Peter and Benjamin, hopping about the happily, about happily. Hip hip hoo! Shush! whispered Lily urgently. Don't you recognize where we are? Mm, let's see where y'all at. We're in Mr. Todd's garden. Gasped Benjamin, his ears trembling. But I need those strawberries for Mom's pie, said Peter. I say, let's do it, agreed Lily. Quickly, pick as many as you can, said Peter. I'll find some something to carry them in. But as Lily and Benjamin stuffed their pockets with juicy strawberries, they heard a sound behind them. Uh-oh, maybe Mr. Todd, y'all. Mr. Todd, gasped Benjamin, what have we here, said the fearsome fox, licking his lips. Um, we were just leaving, said Lily bravely. Leaving? And Mr. Todd, said Mr. Todd, oh no, I insist you stay for dinner. Uh-oh. Lily and Benjamin soon learned that Mr. Todd wanted to have them for dinner. Mm-hmm. Duh. Y'all rabbits. He's a carnivore, which means that he eat rabbits. How delightful. Two delicious rabbits for my stew, gloated the hungry fox. I just need to check the seasoning. Rosemary, thyme. This is bad. This is very bad, said Benjamin inside. Inside Mr. Todd's cookie pot. But suddenly. Don't forget the pepper. Shouted Peter. Leaping through the open window. And knocking over Mr. Todd's stew seasoning. The startled fox was covered in the tickly pepper cloud. Cloud. Come on. Said Peter freeing his friends. As Mr. Todd sneezed and spluttered. But when they got to the door. It was blocked. Not so fast, snickered Mr. Todd. Rabbit's not off the menu yet. Uh-oh, y'all. Y'all got to get past him. Try some berries instead, shouted Lily, reaching into her pocket and throwing a handful of strawberries at Mr. Todd. What? Woo! Hoof! Yelled the flustered fox, slipping on the squishy berries and falling. Crash! 
into his own cooking pot. The three bunnies hopped past Mr. Ty out of the window and away into the woods. You saved us, Peter! Gasped Benjamin as they hopped hurled hurriedly home. Throwing the berries was Lily's brilliant idea, Peter replied. But now we don't have any berries for your pie, said Lily sadly. Aww. Back at the borough, Peter explained. I'm sorry, Mom, he told her. I wanted to make you something special. Oh, Peter, said his mother. All a mother needs on Mother's Day is a hug. And I've made... And I've made something special for you. Aww. Wow, strawberry pie, cheered Peter. You're the best. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Just like a mama, to do things for the kids instead of for herself. That is her Mother's Day. Making her children happy. Alright guys, that is the end of A Present for Mom. I hope you guys like this book. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my page. If you haven't done so already guys. Alright, bye.